So the people's budget is an attempt to make the city's expenditures more equitable for everybody in the community. And we're putting the black lives and communities of color up front because they have suffered uh, disproportionately. We're asking the city to defund the police and that's up to them to propose how much because only they know how much the police need to provide a certain minimal level of service and to redirect money to these services. They have increasingly militarized the, the police. Uh, you know, we started off with community policing uh, in the 70s and 80s, and increasingly, after they had all this military stuff left over, they increasingly militarized the police departments and increased the budgets by preying on fears from um, the drug wars and by doing that, they, re they got that money by cutting social support programs. That's where the money came to militarize the police. And the people have had enough. It has not been effective. And we need to look at how we use our sworn officers. They are not trained mental health professionals. As Jim McDonald used to say, most of the people that are in jail are there because they have mental health issues. The jails are the largest mental health uh, repositories since we've closed all the state hospitals. So these people have to go somewhere that are not safe for themselves or for others to be around. So they end up putting them in jail and they can only do so for a limited time. That's one of the reasons why our jails are so overcrowded. We want to establish community health, health councils. These are community-led response for mental health, safety, and well-being emergencies. A lot of um, things can be handled within a neighborhood and don't need police. Oregon has a really interesting program and they have a, a ban that goes out and if, whenever there's an incident, they go out and do like the homeless outreach work, but they also do it with the mentally ill and they're, they're doing an excellent job of connecting people with resources and they kind of coordinate the services and that's called wraparound services, which is really what that population needs because they may have a housing issue, they may have a food issue, they may have um, a medication issue, they may have a health issue uh, and they need intensive work that the police just can't deliver. Our community needs to come together and support each other so that we have the resources that we need to have a healthy life.